we are on uh, Rickson Street in Alton, Illinois. This is, um, I, I don't have many memories of this place. Uh, this is Ron's younger and better looking brother, Dick. Uh, but I was born here in uh, January of 1946. Take a picture, though. We used to live here. We live right here. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm, okay. I'm curious. When there was a house here, we were living. This is where I was born. So we're just trying to get some okay. history. Uh oh, oh, I just, someone just vandalized my van. Oh, I, oh, oh so sorry. I'm just kind of oh, we, we grew up right here. Uh oh. Did there used to be another house here or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? That's, I was born in the house. Oh, that's. We were, rent, we were renters. I just bought this one a few months. Was this one still here? There was just two here? Just, the house was just on this one lot. Right, okay. uh, this is uh, the home uh, immediately across from us on Western Avenue. A uh, kid, same age as me, named Scott Wilson, lived here. What I mainly remember about him is he always had birthday parties I got to go to. Uh, the next house belonged to. Don't remember. Don't remember. We don't remember. No, we're okay. Oh, uh, yeah, the Miller, a uh, young guy who had a car who drove around on, in the ground corner. Uh, his partner. Oh, the next one is uh, Dewey Allen, who was a car salesman, who on one occasion, when we were taking a trip to Kentucky, uh, encouraged our dad to take a Pontiac down there and uh, to drive it to Kentucky and see what he thought of it by the time he got back. Now this house is uh, the Carters. They had two daughters, Janice and Norma. And Janice uh, was about my age and Norma was about Joanne's age. And this house is the uh, a house of the Richard family. They had three kids, Judy, Lance, and a younger daughter. And uh, oddly enough, when we moved from this neighborhood to another neighborhood, they did so at the same time. So that was a small oddity, but that was they were good neighbors and good people. We are on Western Avenue in Alton. Uh, this house, the first house, on this corner was owned by the Houston's. They had uh, two young daughters that were very attractive. Uh, the next house was owned by the Bellinis. Uh, they had a number of sons, and uh, one of them was my age, and we all knew them very well. And the next house is... Metzger's? Oh, uh, the Metzger's, uh, who had a number of kids that we always played with. And the next house was the Schleppers, and Ron can talk more about them than me. Joe Schlepper, knew him very well. And the uh, that empty lot was where our house was. We moved there in 1948 when I was two years old and lived there until about 1951, 52, somewhere around there. Uh, the next house... I don't remember the name, but it was an old lady with a lot of flowers in her backyard, and they didn't have the softball come on. This is 3013 Buena Vista. Uh, we moved in here around 1953. Uh, it was a great step up in our lives. It was a great house. It had two apartments in the basement that uh, we could rent out or when we weren't renting them out it was Ron's room or my room. It's on a little cul-de-sac up here. It's right above Broadway, one of the main streets in Alton. Uh, the first house next to us, the family's name was Bradshaw. Uh, the wife was a Wickenhauser. Uh, who was part of the family that developed the Milton area. This next house were the Zitos. Uh, he had an upholstery business uh, down on Broadway and Henry. 
The next house was the Zimmerman's. He was a contractor, and uh, him and Dad got along really well. And the next house, brick house, which is the same, uh, basically the same as our house, except the name of the family was Kelly, and the only difference was it was brick and ours was not. And then the uh, last house, which is on the corner, when we moved here, the family that lived there was named Sinkin. They had one daughter, two daughters, one of them was about a year younger than me. I was born in 1946. And uh, then we've got this very steep hill. This is 7-Eleven Bruder Street. We moved here, I remember the date precisely, March 2nd, 1963. I was a junior in high school. Uh, our dad had had a stroke and was no longer able to work. So we moved to a smaller house, and uh, uh, this is Mark Twain's school. I went here in third and fourth grade. It was built during the baby boom. I went to uh, Milton School just up the road for kindergarten, first, second, and fifth and sixth. But uh, here I uh, had third and fourth grade. Yeah. 